why asset prices are crashing, how does it work, what is the nature of prices crash. I will show an example that everybody of you will understand. That works for prices on any market, nevertheless, market of stocks, of cryptocurrency, real estate, or even local market for fruits and vegetables near your home. The nature of this process would be the same, because all these markets have two kinds of participants, buyers and sellers, and the nature of their behavior is the same. Let's get an old-fashioned market with fruits and vegetables. Assume that we have farmer Joe who sells apples. One dollar per pound. Also assume that this farmer is new on this market because one of the features of all hypes and crashes they starts with something new. New piece of information. So our farmer Joe get a first buyer who bought one pound of apples. And we can depict this deal, this trade on a chart. This buyer told to his neighbors that he bought new tasty sweet apples from a farmer on a local market. And his neighbors came to the market and bought apples too. They told their neighbors that there are a new farmer with the very sweet apples on the whole market. And next time our farmer Joe got more buyers again and he decided why not to lift the price, for example, two dollars per pound. New buyers told to all their neighborhood that there are new sweet apples on the market only two dollars per pound. And next time our farmer Joe got even more customers and he decided to lift price again to five dollars per pound. Meanwhile, these apples and this farmer became very popular in this village. And people become obsessed with these apples and they start come buy, buy and buy. More, more and more. And our trader Joe lifted prices to ten dollars per pound, but the amount of buyers kept growing. And our trader Joe lifted price again to fifty dollars per pound. And the crowd of buyers started to feel a fear that they must to buy apples as quickly as possible, because tomorrow price may be more. So we have supply only with one seller, and we have almost endless demand from the whole people of this village and even adjacent villages not far away. And our farmer Joe decided to make $100 price per pound. But suddenly, at that moment, buyers decided next. One group of buyers bought enough apple and they were fed up and they didn't want to buy apple again for a while. Another group of buyers decided that $100 per pound it was too expensive and they could not afford this price anymore. Third group of buyers were even more conscious and they decided that despite of sweetness of apple, so ridiculous price is not normal and apples are overvalued. Thus, our farmer Joe found himself without no buyers at all. And what he decided next? He thought that he must reduce price to gain customers back. So, immediately he reduced price two times, but no buyers appeared. Next step, he reduced price dramatically again, but no buyers appeared still. Then he reduces prices even more, 
because in that moment our farmer Joe is panicking, but not buyers. And he reduced price as quickly as possible. That's why when you see a pump on a chart, after that usually you see a dump with the same speed. And only after our farmer Joe reduces prices that buyers would decide fair, farmer started to get customers again. And price establishing some kind of a plateau on a chart. That's why, nevertheless, pump and dump was artificial one or natural one. The behavior of buyers and sellers in both cases is the same. We get a limited number of sellers. We get constantly elevating number of buyers, amount of which increases too quickly, despite of increasing prices. Then add to this moment psychological effect of greed and you will get a rocket style price action on any chart. And only when some buyers are saturated with the product, some buyers cannot afford current price and a huge amount of buyers just stop buying, at that moment price on assets starts falling as quickly as it climbed. And if you invested in some kind of assets and you see that there is a rocket price action on the chart, you must understand. When the last increasing of price happened extremely quickly, as in our case, from $50 to $100 per pound, that means that this is the end and this is the moment to sell your asset. Or to hedge, at least. If my explanation helps, please leave a comment and let the wisdom be with you.